Hello, and welcome back to the Mole Valley Maker channel. Um, I'm going to do a little unboxing. So, whilst looking for an NVR switch, I know, this is, these are not NVR switches, but I was looking for an NVR switch, and Yandles had the Ruffle Power SC2 Mini Chuck, 450 pounds. Uh, instead of the normal 80 pounds uh, so I bought one and um, I bought a set of dome jaws um, and actually these two together cost I think very similar to the cost of the Sorby dome jaws which would fit my record power SC3 on my um, Nova G2 chuck. So, I also the uh, the standard jaws that come on here, the 40 millimeter jaws, are very similar to the 35 millimeter jaws that fit the um, Record Power SC3 stroke SC4, and I use those a lot. So, they actually come effectively with two standard sets of um, or two sets of jaws that I'm going to use quite a bit. So, nice cardboard packaging. Let down a little bit by a plastic insert. Um, as you can see, I've not had these out. So we got the. Yep, smells of machine oil. We've got the uh, chuck key, very similar to the SC3 type. And we've got the little tiny chuck itself. Also covered in machine oil. Just going to give a quick wipe. And I'll clean it a little bit better off camera. Um, so this is a M33 direct thread because that's what both my lathes are. Quite a tight action. It's a very similar, just a miniature SC, uh, a miniature SC3. Here's a rather dirty SC3 with some pen jaws on it. If we turn it over, you can see it's just a scaled down version. Um, it has a screw hole in there for the. Um, fixing screw to stop it unwinding when the chuck's in reverse but you can see it's a tiny tiny version it comes with a scaled down worm screw for the one that comes with the SC3. Uh, so you've got your sets of jaw screws, little manual, <clears throat> and the jaws. Jaws. I think they have something like a 30, 30 millimeter clamping range. Let me just have a look. Get the manual out. Some of these pages are just complete reprints of earlier manuals. Oh, I can't 
can't really see what the clamping range is on those jaws. Anyway, standard kind of thing. It's got the clamping range in there. There we go. Right, so expansion mode, 39 to 63 millimeters. That's quite useful because quite often what I use is a 40 millimeter force in the bit to um, give myself a very rough mortise when I'm starting off. Um, and then contraction for a round piece of wood is 29 to 51 millimeters, uh, 21 to 46.5 if you've got a square spigot. Um, and the dome jaws, I'll get those out in a second, but as we've got it on this page, uh, so it looks like this manual covers all the jaws they do, which I think it's only five, four sets of jaws and a faceplate ring. Pen jaws, sorry, pin jaws, pen jaws and the dome jaws, and the dome jaws shut down to a four millimetre uh, um, spigot up to uh, about 11 and a half millimetres. Um, sorry, we're talking about an SC2, four to 25.5 millimetres. The SC2 is a little bit bigger, so it has a, the jaws move more. Okay, let's, uh, These are actually quite substantial chunks of metal. And they're solid. So they're all numbered. Um, chucks are numbered around the side. So I'll just quickly fit this up.
just doing those up finger tight because I will take this all to bits and clean it. Re lubricate it with something like a silicon silicon spray. So I have seen some criticism on some websites about the fact they didn't make this down to zero uh, clearance like the Sorby ones. It's uh, the minimum contraction spigot is four millimeters. Contraction tenon. even shut line there. I'll check that in a minute to make sure I've got everything seated and clean properly. Not quite in shot. But I think you can see the idea of these jaws is there's less less of a square edge so if you're if you're working on a small piece of timber and you do accidentally clip the chuck obviously you know you should be taking precautions that you're not working that close but sometimes I know I get quite close in very occasion you get a thump of the chuck this is going to be a lot less aggressive than a square piece of metal hitting you um, but yeah quite pleased with that it was a good price um, I think you know I've got pen jaws and pin jaws for the other chucks, so I think I think these will probably live on it most of the time and occasionally use these ones. Um, but if you're after a good deal, I don't know how long the Yandles are doing that price for. Today is the fifth of June. Obviously, Yandles is a UK supplier. Um, but they have the Record Power SC2 chuck for 49.99. Uh, I think delivery is about I can't remember six or eight quid. So uh, hope that was useful. If I remember, I will do a follow up in a few months' time when I've actually used it. Um, but based on the fact it's a virtually scaled down version of the SC3, I can't see there being much of an issue. Um, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.